Uh, here's the five options at the bottom. If we can just zoom in quickly and show those. No. Maybe? Go, it's rolling. So you want me to go? Just go do a run through. Okay. So as part of my final technicity project, I've produced an application that basically is trying to track bicycle movement within the city of Toronto to better invest in bicycle infrastructure. So I'm just going to take you through the app and show you how uh, it works. So basically uh, when you open the app, it, it automatically goes to this, this screen which shows a new ride. Uh, there are five options at the bottom here. The first one being new ride. The second is your ride history. The third is a city map. The fourth is your profile. And the fifth is a, is a ride hub. So when, when you open it, it automatically takes you to this new ride. Now, if I click play, uh, it'll record the ride uh, using your GPS signal in your phone and actually tell you the elapsed time, the distance, and your average speed. Now, when you're done and you want to finish the ride, you just simply click finish, and it will allow you to save the ride, name it, and identify the type of ride, whether it's a commute, recreational, uh, etc. So if I just click save there, it'll take me automatically into my ride history, which is the second uh, frame down at the bottom. So here you can see there's three rides in the ride history. Uh, I'm just going to click the first one to show you how that shows you some detail. So now you can see that there's some ride detail. It shows a map of the city of Toronto. Uh, the distance, which was 1.4 kilometers, and the average speed, which was about 12.6 kilometers an hour. So if I, uh, if I zoom in, it'll show me some more detail regarding that. So there's a more detailed map, and I can share these via Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Um, now, uh, the city map is just kind of to show people bicycle routes within the city, uh, bicycle lanes within the city, and, and kind of provide a better detailed map of, of where those bicycle routes or preferred bicycle routes are within the city of Toronto. Uh, if I click my profile, you can see that there are some different things here. One is the total number of rides, and if I click that, it'll take me back to my ride history. Uh, my average speed, uh, the total distance, which is 46.2 kilometers for this rider, and uh, the points that I've accumulated. So here there's 1,380 points, and if I take you to the ride hub, uh, you can quickly see how you can earn some of those points. So if you record a new ride, you get 10 points. If you share your rides with friends online, you can get 20 points. If you complete our online bicycle survey, you can get 50 points. And if you refer a friend, you can get 25 points. Now, there's constantly more things that are being added to this. So this is constantly changing. And, and as it changes, you'll be updated with, with new ways to earn points in this app. Um, if I go back to the, to the ride hub, uh, if I click the redeem points, you can see here that there are some options for how you can redeem those points online. And, and these are really to incentivize using the app. So in order for people to contribute, there needs to be something that, that entices them to contribute. And this is where that enticing factor comes in. So if I click here, a new fixed gear bicycle, for instance, at 7,500 points, uh, you can see that uh, there's a bicycle available through somebody who's donated a bicycle and uh, what this does is it promotes local bicycle companies and it also incentivizes is the way that or for people to contribute to this app. Uh, if I go back, uh, it takes me back to these redeeming points. And if I go back to my ride hub, there's also a, a link to the local shop. So uh, this just highlights some of the local bike shops in the area to give a quick reference for users. And if I click one of the pin drops, you can see here that uh, I've identified Urbane Cyclist on, on John Street. So this is very local and tied to the city of Toronto. And um, basically that's how the app works. And it will also be linked to a website. Right now the website is not up, but this option of this hub will link to a website where you can also contribute to ongoing dialogue, redeem points, uh, contribute to discussion online, and uh, be more engaged in, in what's going on within the city in terms of bicycle infrastructure. Yeah, that's it.
conclusion? Or? No, I mean, uh, so so that's that's a prototype of, of the app that that I hope to develop within the next couple of months. And um, Bike Week in Toronto starts on the twenty seventh of May and runs for a month. And I'm hoping to get some input and get bicyclists to contribute to a survey as I continue to develop this this app in the in the near future.